everyone, welcome to One Brain Four Wheels channel. It's the Gear Bear here, like always. And if you watched my last video, then you guys know I'm no longer a C7 Corvette owner. And honestly, that, that blows. Um, but I, and I had my reasons and I had to get rid of it. And I'm kind of looking forward to the future when maybe I could get like a house or a C8 would be pretty awesome. Um, a house and a C8 would be really great because then I could have a cool car and a cool location to film it and actually do real work and not have to worry about borrowing someone's garage. But anyhow, putting those future plans to bed for a minute, let's go ahead and focus on the present and introduce you guys to the brand new Corvette for the channel. Three, two, one, da 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 da! Alrighty, so here it is, the brand new to the channel 1999 C5 Corvette, the ultimate plastic fantastic. But honestly, laughing at the plastic, which it's really, it's still made out of SMC, sheet molded composite, which the C7s are still made out of. Um, so as far as materials used in that aspect, it's not that much older, although the C7 uh, has a lot more carbon fiber, this has none. Um, but overall, given the fact that this is 20 years old, it doesn't look that bad when put in that perspective. However, just looking at it without any other perspective, it does have kind of a dated look. It's got that 90s GM, a lot of roundedness. It just looks plastic and a little bit cheaper. The really harsh lines on the new C7 Corvettes um, really make it look a lot better. But this isn't too bad considering the time period it came in. And I do like, you know, the accent there on the side. It makes it look fast, um, which is neat. Um, <laughs> And even though I'm laughing at that, this actually is pretty fast. Uh, it's got 345 horsepower because this is the base one. Um, and I believe it's a 5.7 liter LS1 engine in this one, um, which is pretty good, I think. And those are very commonly swapped in the other vehicles. So it's a very popular engine, uh, pretty reliable from what I've been able to read online before buying this car. And ultimately, I'm just really happy with this purchase. I think it looks really good as far as condition. The person who owned it before me obviously took good care of it because it's still running pretty fine. It's got 81,000 and a half uh, miles. I word that very weirdly. It's got 81,500 miles. Um, so for 20 years, that means the person that owned it before me really didn't drive it a whole lot. And you can tell because it looks very good. It's really dirty right now because it literally just rained on me um, like a day ago. So it's all muddy and disgusting, but it looks pretty cool. And I'm very happy with this. It's going to be a great placeholder for about a year, I think, or it could be more. I don't really know. You know me, I'm kind of fly by the seat kind of guy. But the point is, is this is going to suit me just fine for right now. Now, obviously, over time, I'm going to want to do a few things to it. Specifically, the wheels are pretty shitty. And there's a few other little things, but otherwise, it looks pretty good. The top's in good condition. I'm overall just happy with the way it is, especially since I don't plan on keeping it for a very long time. But let's go ahead and jump onto the inside and kind of get a quick tour. And, you know, I'll go ahead and do a more thorough review in the future. Um, but I'm kind of running out of daylight, so I just wanted to get you guys a little introduction so you know what's going on and know that there's still a Corvette in the family. Also, you can't forget one of the coolest features, at least in my opinion, and that's pop-up headlights. I just, I always like those. I don't know why. I have a penchant for those. I've got the Fieros and now this car. Pop-up headlights are very cool, even though, once again, another thing that makes it look dated, but I love them, so that's why I'm happy it has them. Now, quickly taking a tour of the interior, I want to see if you guys can go ahead and find one feature about this car that's way different than any other Corvette I've ever had. Kind of do a little perusal real quick. Can you guys see anything? Three, two, one. Yes, it's a manual, boys and girls. Six speed, that's not six, six, five and six. Nope, whatever, stick speed. Now that's very exciting to me because it makes the car feel a whole lot faster even though it's actually got less horsepower than any other Corvette I've had before. Um, I think mainly because with the paddle shifters, even though you could, I didn't really use that feature all too often. And having a manual, you're a lot more likely to kind of keep it in higher revs and thus kind of getting better acceleration. And so I've been really enjoying that in this car. Um, but besides that, let's go ahead and do a quick little tour. So you can see it's a shit ton of plastic in here and it smells like a 90s GM car. But other than that, there's nothing really too noteworthy. It has very basic um, active handling, uh, which pretty much on or off, doesn't have any special modes like my Z51 did. And really just a lot of shitty GM plastics, um, which I'm used to because I've had plenty of 90s GM cars before. Um, but otherwise it looks pretty good condition considering 81,500 miles. And also one other thing is I hate how these seats, these are locked into place, yet they do this, which is very irritating. But getting past the annoying floppy seat feature, there's really nothing too noteworthy in this car. This is way before the time of all the electric doodads and fancy infotainment screens and whatnot. But honestly, this car has got a pretty simple interior. Anyone can figure out pretty much anything in it. Um, it has a really basic speedometer setup with a little screen on the bottom, kind of like my Suburban. And a lot of people would like this because you just have a few buttons, a few things you can do, nothing too, uh, you know, complicated to deal with. Now, I do prefer having a 
a screen in there. Um, I think it looks cooler, but this is my opinion. This is very easy to use and it gets the job done. Same thing with the stereo. I would prefer to have a fancy infotainment screen, but you know what? This gets the job done. And honestly, the C7 one was a little irritating and finicky sometimes. So it's not too bad. And it's got like a 12 disc in the back, which is really old school, but it's kind of neat. So, you know, it's just like a little historic relic. And if you guys have seen the Eldorado and you know any other car I've got really from a different period like the Fiero even, I like little things that kind of make me think back like, wow, that was a feature back then. So all these cars kind of have their own little weird features that were neat back in the day, but make it feel a little dated and that's all right. Um, but besides that, uh, obviously, like I said, it's a manual, which is pretty cool. But honestly, I just really enjoy this car. It's been a blast for, I've owned it two weeks now, um, and it's been fun. Definitely, I'm still sad about not having a C7 anymore, but this will help kind of hold back the tears for a little while. And like I said, there's a big plan in my head. Hopefully it comes to fruition, but the point is, is I've got to kind of stay strong, kind of hold on to my money a little bit, not be so spendy, which a lot of millennials like myself are. But yeah, buying this car was kind of my way to kind of restrain myself a little bit and save up for those big goals, but I still have something fun. And so definitely the C5 will help me accomplish that. And before I go, I figure I'd share one more thing about this car, and that's why I went with another convertible, even though they look like shit when the top's up. Um, and frankly, it's because I live in California, and this is fucking beautiful. Um, let me just kind of see where I'm going, because it's a little bright. But the point is, is that this is fall right now. It should be chilly pretty much every, as a matter of fact, I think everywhere else in the country is having a freezing spell right now. And I'm enjoying uh, 63 degree weather with sun. And it's pretty amazing. And I love having this open air experience. It feels so good. And that's why I went with a convertible again. Yeah, I know there was a Targa option with these vehicles, actually. Um, I believe, so 97, it was just the normal coupe, which was kind of like a hatchback like the C7s. Then in 98, they came out with the convertible. And then in 99, they came with the uh, the fixed roof coupe, which was more of a rounded with a little notchback, um, kind of akin to like a, a, it looked like a convertible, but with a hard top. And it wasn't convertible at all, not even a Targa, but it had the same shape as the convertible. And honestly, why would you not want a convertible when you live in weather areas like this? Um, so that's why I got a convertible if anyone's curious, even though, yeah, it looks like shit when the top is up. But when it's down, it looks really sleek and nice, and I get to enjoy days like this. So, yeah, go me. But anyhow, I think this about wraps it up for now. Like I said, gonna do another video, more thorough, kind of show you guys all the little features I find as I drive the car a little bit more. Um, but I really just wanted to show you guys, hey, still got a Corvette. You know, I'm not leaving you guys out, you know, in the wind. Um, not leaving the family. I just, I wanted to change something up while also saving a little bit of money. And this is gonna do the trick just fine, I think. Um, so if you guys like the new purchase, please give the video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Or if you feel bad for me for not having a C7 anymore, then please, all the compassion in the world, give me a big thumbs up. I would also appreciate that. Um, but anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, like I said, yeah, I'll make another video a little bit more thorough uh, later down the road. But until that, guys, uh, go ahead and take care. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Comment below what you think of the new vehicle. Yeah.